It is 2024 and you want to stream on TikTok? Let's find out how I do it. So how do you stream on TikTok in 2024? Well, first off, you need to be able to stream on TikTok. Not everybody can stream on TikTok. In my opinion, I think this exclusivity kind of thing is nice. Uh, I, I'm very honored to be able to be chosen to be able to do it, but I also feel like it's kind of messed up, right? Because there's a lot of content creators that could really thrive using their platform on TikTok, but if they don't have the invite to stream, it just kind of sucks. So I don't have a secret way to get the invite. I just happened to open up TikTok one day and it said, hey, we're inviting you to this beta to game on TikTok. And I was like, all right, sure. This might be a really good method for you. So first off, you have to get that invite, right? I don't know how to get the invite. Just keep on plugging away at TikTok, doing the best that you can and really find that niche to get your numbers up, whether it be viewing numbers or your follower numbers. I don't have 2,000 followers yet and they still gave me the invite. So I don't know. Uh, maybe it's because I have a pretty face. <laughs> but essentially what TikTok is going to do is they're going to have you download this program. This is TikTok Live Studio. It is not good. TikTok, thank you very much for giving me the invite, and I hope you take this with a grain of salt. It is terrible. I, I, I hate this program. It's very buggy. It is heavy. It is not very user-friendly. I use it um, mainly to view the chat in TikTok. Nevertheless, um, as far as building out my scenes for TikTok, I don't use this at all. I use OBS. And if you are using Streamlabs, you can continue using Streamlabs, but you can't use Streamlabs for TikTok. When I use OBS, I effectively am using OBS just to build out my scenes. And in order to build out my scenes, I've downloaded this plugin from Atom. It's called the Atom Vertical Plugin. I've done a bunch of videos on it. You can go check them out if you want. But in essence, it creates a brand new canvas for you specifically for vertical. You can change it if you want, but it's mainly designed for vertical. And then once you create all your different scenes in vertical, the other nice thing that you can do, and I'll actually um, take off this enable, uh, I'll turn on preview here. I can go to my, uh, just chatting scene like it is right now. And then if I go to my game scene, it changes the game scene in both the main scene for Twitch or kick or whatever, uh, as well as the game scene for TikTok. It's very handy because I only have to press one button and it changes those scenes for me. And in order to do that, you just go to your vertical scenes, right click link scenes, and then find the main scene that you want to link it to. That's it. Very, 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 very simple. So we built up our scene and everything and it looks great. How do we get it over to TikTok? Well, there's this little handy button right here on the vertical plugin called the vertical virtual camera. Yeah, you're effectively just using OBS as a virtual cam. <laughs> That's kind of crazy, right? So once you have that, turned on it'll turn this on the virtual camera control of obs then you can move over to the tiktok live studio and then you have this you just have to make sure that your camera is the obs camera so you can right click go down here camera obs virtual camera and that's it just apply that you can lock it so that stays there so anytime that you change what's happening in obs it's also going to change in the virtual cam for TikTok. Also, you might be wondering what these like overlays are for. They're specifically for TikTok. And because all of my scenes are built in OBS, I can't move these on the fly. I, I, or I, I have to move them manually every single time. So honestly, for me, I generally just stay on the gaming scene. I just keep that there. And for the most part, you only really see the alert when somebody gives me a rose or something like that. So for the most part, this is the scene that you'll see when I'm live on TikTok. But I use OBS because for me, and this might be different for, for you, but for me, I'm just so much more used to how OBS works. The mechanics of OBS, all the different plugins in OBS, the fact that I can have a move plugin, the fact that I could have this little thing down here this little, like, I don't know, the, 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 the audio bars, there's no plugin for that for TikTok Live Studio. So I will use OBS to build up how I want my scenes to look 
And then in TikTok, I just kind of have to deal with this kind of thing being in the way and figure out how it, or where, or if I even want to have it on at all times. I can turn it off uh, just like that. And the last thing that you need to do now is just match your audio settings that you have in OBS. Now, if you're concerned that there's going to be like double audio and that there's going to be an echo, that's not going to be a problem. Like if you're streaming simultaneously to Twitch or to TikTok, they're going to get their own feeds. They're not going to hear you twice. They're not going to hear like an echo of an alert come over the speaker. Uh, like it's, that's not going to happen. Also, if you have headphones and you are concerned that you're going to hear like the game twice or alerts twice, that's also not going to be the case whatsoever. Once you essentially copy and paste how your microphones, how your speakers, how your audio is routed, I'm lucky enough to, to be able to route everything through my Go XLR. So it's very easy for me to, to get all my levels the way that I wanted to. Then I'm done. Then I'm ready. Then you click the go live button on TikTok. You say what the topic is what the title is you can edit your about me make sure your video settings or your encoding settings are correct D decide if you want it to be a sub only or live only audience controls things like that but then you're good to go live so yeah so if this was helpful please let me know if you have any other questions let me know in the comment section down below uh, like i said i stream on tiktok and twitch and until the next time take care of yourselves and each other Later. Hi.